hi guys welcome back to another video so as you saw by the title today i'll be sharing with you guys an experience child so you know when you're young you want to experience things you want to experience this you want to experience that so i'll be sharing my story of how i was caught red-handed trying to get home at 1 a.m child so just thinking about it right now i'm just like what was i thinking i think this was uh it was a very long time ago i think it was when i was in this is my first year or my second year of varsity i'm not sure but it was around about that time when you know you're just experiencing everything you're hyped about everything and things like that so growing up our parents were very strict honestly they were strict you don't even go to these disco things and things like that child you stay home you stay in the house so i think it's partly partly why i'm not really much of an outgoing person like i'm fine with being at home i don't yearn that going out type of you know life whereby you want to go clubbing you want to turn up somewhere i don't i don't it just doesn't excite me like it i, I don't I don't yearn for that honestly like i'm fine with just being at home i've gotten used to just staying at home and I've, it, it, i'm actually comfortable being home more than comfortable being outside or like being on the streets basically so not that there's anything wrong with it like i can i can do two to three to four hours out there but then that's the max after that i just feel like you know what i just want to go home and just you know be in my own space so it was it was a friday yes i remember it was a friday friday night so i had a friend who was coming in town right and then they're like no let's catch up let's go for a drink and things like that and i'm like yeah let's go so i planned my whole escape i think i went around 10 it was around 10 and i can't remember if my cousin was also there she was in the house i i can't i can't remember her being in the house i don't even know where she was so fine i remember my dad was in china he was out of the country and it was just me my aunt and my other cousin and i don't know about too longer though my other other cousin so fine i planned my whole escape right so it was 10 i got dressed i got ready everything and they came to pick me up so going it was smooth nothing was wrong i left the door open and things like that and i went right so we went we had all the fun all the fun that was supposed to be had we had that everything was going so well you know i remember very well it was we were chilling at a bar called chillers it's in evelyn street so i remember it was really really nice that night and it was packed so we really really had fun i think we went from chillers and then we went to another bar along evelyn street you know those days when evelyn street was just the issue it was everything so yeah but like looking at it right now like it's i would not i wouldn't want to like it's just really not my vibe anymore going to chill like in in such you know like very First of all you need to be with people yes oh my god did i tell you guys that same night somebody was robbed right in front of us and it was wild honestly and up until today chilling because i would not advise anyone to chill in such environment honestly because it's always dangerous unless you don't go with your phone you don't go with you basically just just have yourself don't go with any position that will might put you in danger or anything like that so a guy was robbed at knife point like he, we witnessed everything but thank goodness we were fine it wasn't us but those days evelyn street w was would probably would usually be packed with just the youngsters and young thieves if that's even a thing but like you might even be chilling but then you are actually chilling with people that are just evaluating what do you have what can they take from you and things like that 
so you just you know just have fun you keep keep on drinking but they're actually just checking you out as to when you're leaving and with what you're leaving with so that was what happened and yes the, the reason why i decided to come home was because of that incident when it happened i'm like you know what we are done here let us go drop me home guys this is not good anymore and the police came as well it was a whole mess it was a mess so i'm like you know what guys i am going home so yeah they dropped me and that is when everything started child one thing about um sneaking out right i don't know no wait i think i should explain this first like I don't really sneak out often but like just that one time just that one time that you decide to sneak out that is when you're caught you know when you really plan your entire process how you're gonna do it and things like that <sighs> I don't know so upon coming back child I remember when I came back, it was it was around about that time, around 1 a.m. there. So, you know, our house had those security lights. Is it security lights outside whereby, or is it motion lights? Whereby if you, if you enter, it switches on it automatically. I don't know if it's movement or motion sensor, sensor lights, but when you immediately get into the yard, they switch on and when i got home that's exactly what happened so it, it's fine it's normal it's not like it, it makes any noise but just the lighting but like it's very sensitive because even if it's something that is flying over the light it it, it um it switches on so that was not nothing to be it's not an alarm or anything so i remember i had a savannah in my hand child so yes as i said i left the i didn't leave it locked so just as i was opening the door to enter my aunt was standing right there <laughs> so here's the thing our door our main entrance is straight up like you know this uh, this a uh, main entrance and then when you walk in, you walk in the sitting room. And then there's another room. Uh, there's another door that leads you to the bedrooms and the like a corridor. But like when you enter, it's a sitting room. And then on your right, then there's a kitchen that goes in. Like yeah, but like if you look straight, there's like a long, long corridor that now takes you to the rooms and the outside places. And that yeah. so what 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 happened was um. It happens that she was coming from her bedroom to go use the bathroom right and you know it's funny how it just I was just I don't know I was just bit like that day because just when I was entering in like opening the door there she was you know and the first thing she asked me is where are you coming from I froze like I froze I just froze i didn't even know what to do i'm like my goodness how are you going to the toilet just now as i'm coming in but anyways after that like there's nothing i could do anymore you know i had my drink in my hand so i proceeded to my bedroom and i went with my drink in my hand i think the damage is already done so you talking back is just going to put more petrol do they already fire that is there so i just decided you know what whatever comes comes i'll face it tomorrow because first of all i was tipsy i was just all over so i'm just like you know what best thing to do right now is just to go to my bed and sleep wait no guys the here is a full story first of all that same night my aunt called my dad in china to tell him what had happened i'm like couldn't you wait tomorrow or something so i think what saved me was the days that passed by because my dad i think came after four days and 
me being me i don't constantly go out like i'm not really a pro- i wasn't really a problem child i think it just passed like i didn't really get into any trouble everything just disappeared you know i just, i didn't even get into a meeting or anything like that nothing you know just not even a lecture or anything yeah well so that was it i i tried i mean obviously guys we have done the things we have lived the life guys so luckily we've survived it nothing happened to us but you know in most cases parents are strict for a reason i mean parents are parents especially black parents they are just it's just a way of parenting and i'm guessing it's not that bad so yeah we survived it and here we are so guys that brings me to the end of today's story time uh, comment down below if you have been in a similar how did I say if you have sneaked out when you were young as well how did your experience go where what what happened did you ever get in trouble and things like that yes guys that was basically it thanks so much for watching and to all the new subbies or all those that are watching and have not subscribed please hit the red subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys.